Welcome to another one of my math riddles. My name is Chris Sieber, and here we have a fun problem which I think that um, everybody can learn something from. And here in this problem we have a blue square. And the corner of the blue square is placed at the center of the red square. Um, so this corner of this blue square, which I just circled, is placed at the center of the red square. And the goal uh, for this math riddle is we need to find the area of the shaded region. All right, so this shaded region, which I colored in dark red, um, this is what we need to find. And what we know is that the blue square has a side length of seven. Uh, we know that the red square has a side length of six. And we know that this segment at the bottom of the red square has a side length of five. Um, so using all this information, uh, we need to find the area of the shaded region in dark red. So take your time to work on this problem and I will show you the solution in five seconds. All right, so the solution to this problem I thought was really beautiful and simple. And the only thing we really need to do is place three more blue squares in the center. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Notice how I just placed a blue square on the top left corner. Now I place another blue square at the top right, and I'm going to place another blue square on the bottom right. All right, so notice how these three blue squares created three more areas which we can shade in in red. I pointed these three areas out for you, and we're going to color them also in dark red. All right, and the cool thing is, is that these four areas in dark red are exactly the same shape in exactly the same area. They each represent exactly one quarter of the red square. And this will be really clear to see if we rotate um, the blue squares around the center of the red square. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna rotate these blue squares around the center of the red square, and you're gonna see how all of the shaded areas are exactly the same. Now notice if we rotate it a little bit to the right, how we can create four identical, four smaller squares. Um, notice how if we rotate it a little more to the right, um, we create uh, um, two diagonals that um, also make four identical triangles. Um, so no matter how you rotate these four squares, the shapes are going to be exactly the same, and it's always going to represent one quarter of the area of the red square. All right, so now if we go back to our original problem, so now we know that the area of the shaded region in dark red is equal to exactly one quarter of the area of the red square. All right, we know that the area of the dark red region is equal to one quarter of the region of the red square. And we know that the area of the red square um, is equal to the side length um, squared. So we know it has a side length of six. So it's equal to six squared. Um, and we have to multiply this by one quarter. So one quarter times six squared is equal to nine. So we know that the area of the dark red shaded region is exactly equal to nine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna check out another one of my math riddles, check out my link in the screen. Don't forget to subscribe and all the rest of my riddles are also on my website, mathmeeting.com. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.